off on another adventure behind Snow and Kurt. And we're heading to some hot springs they scoped out, talked to some locals about the details. So this should be another good day. And over here, <laughs> my little lady sat with me. <laughs> she's not that little, I guess. She's like 60 pounds. <laughs> so there's two options at these hot springs. They're called Caldera Hot Springs. There's a developed and an undeveloped. And it's $2 for the undeveloped and the money goes to the family that runs it. So yeah, it's gonna be a great day. We're super excited. Especially Sombrita, because she gets to sit on my lap. <laughs> I think this mm -hmm. is safe. What do you think about this? Uh, this is where people said they could park on this side of the river too. If I could do that with my body, <laughs> I'm not really loving the stability of this bridge. I mean, look right here, this weld is broken. Are you thinking you fall through? I don't know if I want to trust my house on it. What are you thinking? We're not going to be able to go this way? That's the, the last developed one. Yeah, that's like the road we were on yesterday. Yeah, I guess he does do tours that way. <laughs> I don't know. The bridge does sway a little bit, so this is uh... might be a little bit sketchy. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, honestly. One band at a time. Looks like they made it. Here we go. Looks like somebody needs a jump. Something's going on here. The police helping out or the police getting helped. Wow. Nice driving, Emily. Looks like we got another sketchy bridge situation. We're gonna have to decide if the juice is squeezable. Yeah, honestly, this one looks better than the last bridge. But it does move a fair amount. Kurt's a uh, road builder in his past life. I trusted him on the last one. Let's see what he say. What are you thinking of this one? I actually think this one's in a little better shape than the other one. At the end, there's a couple of these support rods that are kind of welded in the middle, but I checked the weld, they seem solid. It's pretty good, I think. Yeah, this one did look a little nicer to me than the last. I'll give her a try. This is pretty wild, huh? <laughs> it is pretty epic, isn't it? That was mental! The thing goes up and down! <laughs> Well, they're not telling us not to do it. Holy, van number two. Oh my goodness. This is something right here. That is, that is terrifying. I'm a bit glad I'm not driving. Hopefully they didn't loosen this and now walking over it's gonna collapse. <laughs> and nah, we got this, but this is some wilder stuff than we're used to, you know? And this is kind of our first thing in Panama outside of that Highland area. So it all feels really new to us being here in Panama, even though I got my hat from Costa Rica. Holy. Oh, nice driving, Emily. How was that? Thank you so much. Yeah, going second might be a little 
we just watched Kurt like, oh my god, there was like a wave behind him on the bridge. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he must have gone a little faster because he's bobbing. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to go slow. And hopefully, I didn't see our clip, so I don't know if I made that much of a wave. That was wild. Wow. Panama. Oh, what's going on with him? Okay, don't worry, just go slow. Yeah, stay in the middle tracks and just give it a stop here. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna go check this out. Oh, it looks like we're getting into a little mud situation here. Possible turnaround at least. That's kind of a crazy turnaround. Whoa, this is something. We got a toe strap, we got some Max tracks, I think they do too. I mean, it's downhill, but we might have to come back this way later. <laughs> I mean, at least we got two vans here. And well, I mean, there's kind of some, uh, it's, it's kind of rocky. I mean, I've stepped in some of these spots and it's not really mushy, it's just wet, you know? Yeah. Do you think we'll have to go back this way? I think so. Oh boy. I mean, this doesn't look any worse than that last uh, section back there. That got a bit rocky and, and wild up there. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't think this is as bad as that last part, so we might as well keep going. But yeah, a little bit of mud. Stone cold. <laughs> oh boy. It's going downhill pretty steep. I don't know. You want to just stop up here and I'll take a peek? Yeah, I'll go take a peek. Well, it looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, that should be okay going back up. I thought there's probably another kilometer. We're really glad that we got that suspension worked on. You know, we do need some new tires. But the guy who ordered them in has like never received them. And I looked all day for tires. It's pretty annoying that he never, I think he says he ordered them, but they just never came. It should be fine on the tires here too. It's mostly mud which is like, it's not too rough on tires. It's the rocks, they're rough. Definitely a good adventure over here. Yeah, wow, I didn't expect this this morning. Well, I'm glad we had that coffee this morning. <laughs> I think you made a good choice going not over that <laughs> tree in the road. <laughs> yeah, this road is, is looking really good. Yeah. It's just that if it starts raining while we're here, <laughs> well, then we'll spend the night. Wow, it just keeps going on and on. Well, it looks like we made it here to the hot spring. And this is the end of the road, so we're gonna have to go back up that. At least we have max tracks. <laughs> and a possible tow. <laughs> it just looks like there's not even like a turnaround. That's just straight mud where everybody turns around. Should we go chat with mm. them, I guess? Okay, yeah. Good job, Emily. The best girl. Wow. So we made it to the hot spring, but we're gonna have to figure out how to get turned around at some point. So Brita's loving it already. She got a friend. She hasn't been playing with the dog for a few days. And then over here's the hot spring. Looking chill. Perfect. Oh, masana awa or see, they're water apples. Have you ever tried one? Yeah, I bought them at the market once. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful one. Yeah, nice and clean. Right. For know. sure. Yeah, hopefully not too hot, honestly. <laughs> it's yeah, nice. It's a good fun. temp. It's a good temp. Oh, I bet the river right there. Oh, yeah, so you can cool off. 
Bouncy, bouncy, I like this. Okay, okay. Wow. Let's do this, huh? Yeah, that's nice. I think it's good. I think the temperature's nice. Time to suit up and enjoy. All right, little buddy. I'll be back. And here we go. Check out this hot spring. Boy. <laughs> all right, we're all suited up. Time to come and enjoy these hot springs that we found. Well, that was a good time chilling here in this spring and guess we're gonna see what the road ahead brings. Tire in front of the other. <laughs> no. Left tire, right tire. Right tire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's definitely dried out a bit. Yeah. Plus, I always stress a lot when I'm not driving. I'm kind of a backseat driver. It did look a lot sketchier earlier when it, it was wet. I think that it was a lot more wet earlier because it has gotten a little warmer. It's dried out a little bit, so I think. Oh, we're spinning, we're spinning. <laughs> oh, we got it. Spicy. Is there another spot? I yeah, that's the worst, except for those crazy bridges. <laughs> Un paseo picante. It's definitely a one at a time bridge. Suspension bridge. Built within the last thousand years. Look at those ripples. Oh, wait. That's scary. But functional. Our turn. Here we go. Back over the bridge. Bridge number oh one. My God, you can just watch it moving. It's so, it's pretty scary. Oh, and there, right there is definitely a little weak spot or something. Woo! Last river crossing. We're almost there. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Looks like plenty of dicey bridges today. Wow, at least we got like a road builder over here. Gauge the strength. Oh man, it looks pretty reinforced to me. We'll see what the expert says. What do you think? It looks good. All right. <laughs> good question. All right, well, Snow and Cart made it over. Yeah, I just got to stay on these tracks. As I learned in Washington during the winter. Well, the river is really pretty. Oh, a bit squeaky. That is scary, the squeaks. Oh, we don't have to come back on this though, so that's good. Yeah, we're cutting across the mountains. We took the exciting road. Good morning. Well, gotta show you guys what we're waking up to here. Foggy out there, eh, girl? <laughs> the 
finally decided to leave the mountains of Panama and head to Bocas del Toro, which should be a real hot spot. <laughs> we had one nice cool night last in the mountains here before we head over to the Caribbean side and hopefully we can catch this ferry today. We'll see what happens. but we just drove up to the port and look at us on the boat to Bocas del Toro and who's behind us? We made it on the ferry! I was reading about this and hearing from other people that you're supposed to sleep in the line to be able to get a spot. I'm pretty sure we drove up 10 minutes before it's leaving Yeah. and one guy, the first guy we see saying go back, go back, go back but we're... That was crazy! <laughs> I can't believe we made it on the ferry! I saw you trying to vlog, so that's why I cursed, because you cursed during our vlog. <laughs> I was reading Google's rules, and some light cursing is acceptable. Uh, WTF, etc. Well, f all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some breach is in the way! <laughs> One hour, the guy's saying and we're all just giddy because we knew it would leave at noon but we weren't really rushing to get here or anything we thought there's no chance but i mean this is thursday so maybe it's that's better. perfect yeah because yeah. friday i'm sure it gets a little more traffic but this is epic we Woo! thought we were gonna have to wait and now we're going to the island today this is perfect yeah. i do not want to stay here because everybody stares you down and it's like come with me i'll help you get to costa rica or bocas or wherever you're going and yeah like, no nah, we're good we don't need any help that it turned out to be true so the cost of the ferry was 60 dollars not too bad Kurt and I are on the search to see if we can get up to the top of this boat. Looks like where there's a will, there's a way. We found the way. Just kept going. You're like, I think he said turn around. No, he didn't. He said go ahead. <laughs> up and up and up. Oh, okay. Well, we got an AC lounge. Ah, oh. oh, mi abuelo love this stuff. We were just up here, coming down. We didn't think we'd be able to be on this boat today. Quite a nice treat. And up there, must be the captain. We're packed in here tight on this boat. Every side. How they make the dollars. So I guess Bocas is uh, out there on the left, right? Somewhere. <laughs> A lot of islands. I guess there's six islands in the archipelago. So what are they serving in the galley of this boat? <laughs> Spring rolls Ooh. with cucumber, pepper. Don't pull up on the on the spring rolls on the actual paper because uh, our rice paper is broken, but it'll make it a little bit more filling, so that's good. Well, Emily's been working hard, so we're brewing up a coffee here on the boat, and we were counting how many islands that are not accessible by road that Graham has been to. Ocracoke Island, North Carolina, or South, I think North. North. Uh, Ometepe. Isla Mujeres. Isla Mujeres. And now Bocas del Toro, so four islands that you can't even drive to. This cat has been to. He's a little tropical boy. Tropical? And a lot more islands that you can drive to. What do you think, Sombrita? Coffee at 146? It's okay, right? Hopefully we'll be able to sleep. we're getting close. I bet you Kurt's over there mooning us right now, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> mine is going to be his white butt. <laughs> Oh, there's a white butt. <laughs> Caraneros Island there, super close, is actually a place that Columbus went. Pretty insane. Yes. He was 
there, they put the boats on the at high tide, and so low tide they can tip the boat, clean the bottom, and that is uh, Carinero Island because that refers to carining the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Squid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one has a oh wow, it does look like a lobster. That thing is low to the water. Yeah, he's low. Oh, dang! Toss it over here. It looks like we've decided to check out the town briefly, stock up, and head across the island over to uh, the area of the Starfish Beach, Playa Ooh. Estrella, which you can't drive to, but you can drive most of the way and then walk, a nice walk along some beautiful beaches. And this is like more of a snorkeling side of the island. I got my new Hawaiian sling. Uh, would really love to try cooking a whole fried fish. We'll probably head over to the more snorkeling side of the island to partake in those activities. There's supposed to be tons of starfish. We'll hopefully have some great videos for you guys of that. This is Bocas Town. Bocas. The capital of the province, the island, and also the name of the town is Bocas. <laughs> so we get to go across the island, check out this sweet snorkel spot, hopefully. It's supposed to be some bugs, but you know what? We got some countermeasures. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be back soon to show you guys our first adventure on Bocas del Toro with Snow and Kurt. See ya!